Lesson 15 homework. Draw a place value disk on the place value chart to solve. Show each step in the standard algorithm. 7 tenths divided by 4. So I'm going to start by drawing my 7 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tenths. And then we're dividing by 4. So down below, I'm going to divide this into 4 different sections so that we can equally divide those 7 tenths up. Okay, so if I take these 7 tenths and split them equally among four different, group, four different groups, I can only put one in each group. So I've used these four. But there's not enough for me to take these 3 tenths and put one in each. I would need one more. So I'm going to take these 3 tenths and convert them to hundredths. Now 3 tenths is equal to... 30 hundredths, because 1 tenth is 10 hundredths, so 3 tenths is 30 hundredths. So I'm going to draw 30 hundredths. Okay, now I need to take those 30 hundredths and divide them into 4 equal groups. So the closest I can get, um, 4 times 7 is 28. So the closest I can get to 30 would be 7 in each group. So 7 hundredths in each group. So if I've used 28 hundredths, that means I have 2 left of the 30 hundredths. So I need to take those to the thousandths place. So 2 hundredths into the thousandths would be 20 thousandths. And 20 thousandths split into four equal groups would be five in each group. And that works out evenly. We don't have any leftovers, no remainders, which means we're finished. So we should end up with, in each group, we have one tenth and seven hundredths and five thousandths. So we should get 175 thousandths. Let's see if that's what we get with the standard algorithm. So four can't go into zero, so we're gonna have zero. Four can go into seven once. One times four is four. We subtract. Now, since there's nothing to bring down, what we're gonna do is add a zero. So add a placeholder as a zero and bring the zero down. So 4 goes into 37 times. 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. Again, we still have a remainder, so I'm going to add another zero and bring that down. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And yes, there is no remainder, so we're finished. The last step is to bring our decimal point straight up, and we get 175 thousandths, which is what we got using our place value chart. Part B, 8 and 1 tenth divided by 5 tenths. So I'm going to draw my 8 ones and, five ten and 1 tenth. And we need to divide that into 5 equal parts. So I'm going to make 5 sections. Okay, so the 8, I can split... 8 divided by 5, I can only put 1 in each group evenly. So that means I'm going to have 3 left over, which translate into 30 tenths. So I need to draw 30 tenths. Go up here. Okay, so now we have 31 tenths because we need to add the 1 tenth that was already there. So 31 tenths split into 5 equal groups. Let's see, the closest we can get, 5 times 7 would be 35, so that's a little too big. So 5 times 6 is 30, so we can put 6 in each group. And then we're going to have this one left over because we had 31, we used 30. So let's take that to the hundredths place. So we have 10 hundredths. 
divided by 5. So 10 divided by 5, that's 2, which means we can evenly split and there's no remainder, so we're finished. So in each group, let's just look at this bottom group. So we have one, and there's five there, or no, there's six, 62 hundredths, one and 62 hundredths. Let's see if that's what we get with the standard algorithm. Five goes into eight one time, one times five is five. Subtract and get a three, bring down the one. Five goes into 31, Six times, five times six is 30. We get one as a remainder, so we can add a zero, bring it down. Five goes into 10, two times. Okay, we got zero, so all I have to do is bring my decimal point up and we get one and 62 hundredths. Okay, these we just get to solve using the standard algorithm. So seven tenths divided by two. So two goes into seven, three times, three times two is six, we'll subtract. I have a remainder, so I'm gonna add a zero and bring it down. So two goes into 10 five times, five times two is 10. Last step, bring the decimal point straight up, we get 35 hundredths. B, three and nine tenths divided by six. Three goes in, six can't go into three, so that's a zero. Six goes into 39, six times, six times six is 36. We get three as a remainder, let's keep going, add a zero. Six goes into 30 five times, five times six is 30. No remainder, bring the decimal point up and we get 65,000, 65 hundredths. Nine divided by four. Four goes into nine twice, two times four is eight, one, now there's no decimal point here, but we can always add one at the end. So I'm gonna add a decimal point, make it nine and zero tenths so that I can bring down the zero. Four goes into 10 twice, two times two is, two times four is eight. We get two left over and add another zero. Four goes into 25 times, so five times four is 20. Finally, no remainder. Last step is to bring the decimal point straight up so it's two and 25 hundredths. 92 hundredths divided by two. Two can't go into zero, but two can go into nine four times. Four times two is eight. We subtract nine minus eight is one, bring down the two, we get 12. Two goes into 12 six times. Six times two is 12, no remainder. Bring the decimal point straight up and 46 hundredths. Nine and four tenths divided by four. Four goes into nine two times. Two times four is eight. We have nine minus eight is one. Bring down the four. Four goes into 14 three times. Three times four is 12. We subtract and get two. I'm gonna add a zero. Bring it down, four goes into 20 five times. Five times four is 20, no remainder. Bring up our decimal point, two and 35 hundredths. 91 divided by eight. Eight goes into nine one time. One times eight is eight. Nine minus eight is one. Bring down the one. Eight goes into 11 one time. One times eight is eight. Subtract, we get three. Again, I'm gonna add a decimal point and a zero. And make it 30. Eight goes into 30. Let's see, eight times four is 32, so it can only go in three times. Eight times three is 24. If we subtract, we get six. Bring down the zero, 60. Eight can go into 60. Well, eight times eight is 64, so that's too big, so eight times seven. 8 times 7 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. I'll add another 0. Bring it down. 8 goes into 40 five times. 8 times 5 is 40. Finally, we're finished. We have no remainder. So let's bring up the decimal point. 11 and 375 thousandths. 
A rope, eight and seven tenths meters long, is cut into five equal pieces. How long is each piece? So it's being split evenly, which means we're dividing. So eight and seven tenths divided by five. Five goes into eight one time. One times five is five. We subtract, get three, bring down the seven. Five goes into 37. Let's see, five times seven is 35. So it can go in seven times. Get a 2, not done because we have a remainder. 5 goes into 20 four times. 4 times 5 is 20. Now we're finished after we bring up the decimal point. So that says 1 and 74 hundredths meters would be how long each piece is. Yasmin bought six gallons of apple juice. After filling up four bottles of the same size with apple juice, she had three tenths of a gallon of apple juice left. How many gallons of apple juice are in each container? Okay, well, she had six tenths. When she was done, there was three tenths left. So in the four bottles total, there would be the difference between those two numbers. So I'm gonna start by subtracting so we can see how much is in the bottles. So six minus three tenths. Zero minus three, we can't do that. So I'll change that to a five and this is a 10. 10 minus three is seven. 5 minus 0 is 5. Bring the decimal point straight down. So there's 5 and 7 tenths gallons in the four bottles. So now what we need to do is take that and split it evenly between, between the four bottles. So I'm going to do 5 and 7 tenths divided by 4. 4 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 7. 4 goes into 17 four times. Four times four is 16. Subtract, I have one as a re remainder. We don't want a remainder, so we're gonna keep going. Add a zero, bring it down. Four goes into 10 twice. Two times four is eight. We subtract, we get two. Can't have a remainder, so we're gonna bring down another zero. Four goes into 20 five times. Five times four is 20. No remainder, bring up the decimal point. So we get one and 425 thousandths gallons in each, in each 